This is Involve Innovation. In this video, we will see about JavaScript frameworks. JavaScript frameworks are used to speed up the development and it also improves the code quality and improves performance. Some of the functionality which takes one line in framework needs 100 lines in plain vanilla JavaScript. There are various frameworks available in the market right now. They are but not limited to React, Vue, Angular, Amber, Backbone, P-React, Polymer and much more. Based on state of JS website, developer satisfaction level towards the JavaScript framework has increased. 3.8 in 2016, 3.8 in 2017, 4.3 in 2018. There are various frameworks which came and gone, but some got matured to become more efficient out of the many JavaScript frameworks. For the year 2019, there are three main competitors. They are React, Vue, and Angular. Angular is slightly declining. I will say why when we discuss more. React, which has around 118,000 stars in GitHub and 21,000 folks in GitHub. React is declarative, efficient, and flexible JavaScript library for building user interfaces. React is created by Facebook. According to State of JS, 90% of people who used React will use it again. That clearly states people are happy with React. They want to use this framework continuously. The top three benefits are elegant programming style, fast rendering, and good documentation. React is the top tagged technology in GitHub in 2018. Around 3,470 companies use React, including Facebook, Uber, Netflix, Twitter, Reddit, PayPal, Walmart, it goes on. Next we will see about Vue. I gave Vue the second position. Vue became the most popular front-end GitHub project in 2018. It even surpassed Facebook's React in GitHub Toss, created by former Google employee backed by Laravel and Alibaba. One of the main reasons why developers love Vue is because it is a progressive framework. This means that it elegantly adapts to the needs of the developer. But Vue particularly works because it picks up the best choices and possibilities that other frameworks like AngularJS, ReactJS and Knockout.js provide. This makes it the best version of all frameworks put together in a neat and tidy package that delivers. Vue 3 is proposed to use TypeScript, which might increase its popularity and adaptability even further. According to State of JS, 91% of people who used Vue will use it again, which is great. 851 companies use Vue. Major advantage of Vue are its very small size and very easy to learn. Time to switch from Angular or React is low. Since Vue is comparatively new, when compared to Angular and React, resources and documentation are comparatively less. Next, once it is start, it gonna rule the JavaScript framework. Now, it is slightly declined. I won't say it is completely declined. This might change in 2019 because Angular promised to release new version every 6 months. So, fingers crossed, anything can happen in 2019. Angular is the complete and most powerful open source framework which provides the M, V and C. Major rewrite from Angular 1 to Angular 2 wins slightly against the Angular. People are not very much happy with the complete rewrite. But Angular 2 is performing really well when compared to Angular 1. Angular has steep learning curve but that got reduced with CLI support in Angular 5 and Angular 6. Angular uses TypeScript, that is one of the major selling points of Angular. According to State of JS website survey, Angular starts to decline. Only 41% of people who used Angular will use it again. And before going to the comparison, now there is another good to know framework that is Polymer. Polymer use web components, a set of modern web standards that will give you the power to extend HTML. 
I find polymer is really interesting concept, but I still feel polymer has huge potential. If you are preparing for enterprise job, then React or Angular is for you. Because based on the analysis I have done, for React you can find fifty seven thousand eight hundred and ninety nine jobs in Indeed alone, three thousand four hundred and ninety eight jobs in Dice, fifty three thousand six hundred and seventy four jobs in LinkedIn. Similarly, for Angular, you can able to find seventeen thousand three hundred and thirty seven jobs in Indeed, four thousand six hundred and sixty one jobs in LinkedIn, four thousand six hundred and sixty one jobs in Dice, thirty thousand six hundred and seventy nine jobs in LinkedIn. For Vue, it is comparatively less. That is two thousand eight hundred and nine jobs in Indeed, three hundred and nineteen jobs in Dice, five thousand three hundred and sixty two jobs in LinkedIn. But Vue is growing at a rapid pace and continues to perform great. If you see the number of company which adapts Vue are very high when compared to Angular. That is, three thousand four hundred and seventy nine companies use React, including some of the great players like Facebook, Uber, Netflix, Twitter, Reddit, PayPal, and Walmart. Vue is used by eight hundred and fifty one companies, including Alibaba. Angular is used by two hundred and sixty three companies. Including Google, Forbes, Wix, and Weather. dot com, the potential view gives is enormous. If you are trying to learn a new software and if you are looking to excel in your career, I think you should start with view. If you are looking for a great career with more growing opportunity, React and View are the best options. I personally feel React and View are neck to neck, but React wins with slight margin. Since it is adapted by huge number of companies and job opportunity it provides currently, but each framework has their own advantage. Selecting a framework is purely based on the use case. In some of the use case, Angular fits in perfectly, then React or Vue. So selecting the framework is purely based on the use case and based on the website which you are gonna build. Thanks for watching this video. If you feel this video is helpful, share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel for more technical videos.